Here is my CR10 SE sitting on the bottom shelf of a muscle rack. And I've got the negative camera right here mounted to a small miniature newer tripod. The Nebula camera turns left and right, up and down, making it really easy to point it at the print bed however you wish. Here is the Creality Nebula pad. I have the Nebula camera plugged into the USB on the side and we're just going to make sure that the Nebula pad recognizes it by pressing settings, clicking into camera, and clicking into camera settings. You will see enable time-lapse photography is turned on that means the nebula pad does indeed see the camera. If it's turned off, make sure to touch it again to turn it on. Once you do that, you can go ahead and press back, home, and you're ready to roll with your nebula camera. Here I am in Creality Cloud. I have my CR10 SE open. You can see a preview of what the nebula camera is seeing right here in this window. By clicking on the square icon, we can blow it up and get a full-blown look at what the Nebula camera is seeing. You can see the picture quality on the Nebula camera is quite good. Press the square to reduce it again. And here we are in Creality Cloud looking at the CR10 and the Nebula camera's view. Even though the video settings on the printer are confirmed before I send this file, I'm going to check the gear icon right here and click on video settings to make sure time-lapse itself is turned on, and it is. So I will just X out of this and go ahead and send a file to the CR10. I'm going to click on my uploads, choose this file right here, and press print. Continue, confirm. Our print has begun, and the CR10 SE using the Nebula pad and Nebula camera We'll begin creating that time lapse file. Here I am in the Creality Cloud app on my iPhone. I can see that my CR10 SE is printing. I will touch that. Here I can see all the progress for my CR10 SE, and I can see the live video feed from my Nebula camera. We can click the rotation icon in the corner and it will blow this up to a full blown view of the Nebula cameras, view of my CR10 SE. Everything looks good and the camera is working as expected. All right, so here I am with the CR10 SE Nebula pad after the print has finished, and I'm going to transfer the time-lapse file to this USB drive. I stuck the USB drive in the USB port on the side of the Nebula pad, and I'm going to click on the gear icon, then the camera icon, then the video list, and you'll see a list of all the created time-lapse files. I have only one, so I will touch that file and press export. It will go ahead and copy that file to the USB thumb drive plugged in to the Nebula pad. By the way, the CR10 SE did a really nice job. I printed two of these blades at one time and both of them came out really nice. Hey.